everyone and welcome to the enemies Ilya and today we're going to be ranking each and every character well almost every character from the Tower of God webtoon series season two. I've gone through season two and found over a hundred characters for this list. I'll be ranking them from God tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, D and of course trash at the bottom. So without further ado let's start off the video. Only five characters are allowed in God tier so look forward to seeing who I place there. And if there's any major characters that I've missed out, I'll of course explain that during the video, but I'll add them at the end as well. And uh, if you really want to know my thoughts and opinions on any characters I have missed and I haven't realised it, then of course let me know in the comments down below and I'll give you my personal thoughts in a reply. But enough of that, let's just jump in, shall we? Let's go! Okay then, so let's start off this list with A.K. Williams. This character appeared in the Hell Train and was quite integral in terms of the storyline, being that she had connections to Daniel Hatchet and obviously Boro and Sashi Faker, but actually I wasn't too bothered by her. So I'm putting her in D in this situation here. Next up, we have another character in D, which is a character from season one. He underwent a decent character change in terms of his design, but ultimately the only thing he did was have a decent fist fight with Viole, but that was about it. Nothing really special there. A knack, however, is going to be our first in B tier. After all, she was quite badass in with the, her actions and her demeanor and vibe that she brought with when uh, Team Shibisu wanted to take down Viole. That was pretty awesome. Um, she had a good fight with Ran. That, again, liked that fight. So her, I think, is actually B tier throughout Season 2. Angel, I'm putting in A tier. Putting in A tier. So, just her design. Her personality, her lore and backstory that she had, I think her eyes are some of the best designed eyes throughout Tower of God. And her powers are quite unique as well. I'd love to see her return in the future. Apple is in trash. Now, of course, you can have bad characters that you're meant to hate like Rachel. But Apple just was not likeable at all. Personality-wise, disgusting. Design-wise, not pleasing at all to look at, and ultimately, I think she's trash. Next up, we have Aerie Bright, a member of Jihad's army who appeared in the last station arc. She's going in A tier. I just like her design, I like her skill play, and uh, I just think she's a great character, and I'll see her more in season three. Next up, we've got uh, Aerie Han, leader of the Aerie family, and honestly, I'm putting him in D. I don't want to put him in trash because I like the way he had a psychological effect on Ho Quinn. But at the same time, he doesn't do anything, and for a member of the Ten Great Families, it's clear we're going to see him later on in the future, but right now, he's a D-ranked character, at least by Season 2 standards. Next up, we have another member of the Airy family, and I'm putting him in B tier. I really liked his fight with Ran, and I kind of just liked the way he handled himself when speaking to Iwa. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, Design-wise, pretty cool. Bit different than what we've seen so far from the Airy family. Yeah, I think he's dead, so we're not likely to see more from him, but I think B's respectable. Next up, we have a member of Jihad's army who I think appeared at the altar. I'm gonna put it in D simply because uh, I wanted to see more. I like the design, but that's all I can say I like about the character. Next up, first entry to C tier, we've got Augustus. This character. Didn't really do much, but he added a bit of mystery and a bit of, whoa. And I wonder if we're going to see him again in season three. At this moment in time of recording, I've only seen up to what I've reviewed, which I think is uh, Doen has left with Jihad's army, and Bam is training and has just arrived at the nest. So we'll have to see where that goes. Next up, we have Bam, 25th but the Violi version, so when he was at Fug. So the first half of season two, and honestly, I'm putting it in A tier. Like, I like the kind of rawness that this character brought. I like the kind of vibe it brought to the series, a, sh a change in tone and shift. Basically, labeling Fug as this evil organization that's forcing Bam to do what he's doing. But in doing what he's forced to do as this persona, he's actually, you know, doing some very, hairy stuff. But at the same time, seeing him return in the Data arc, whether in the Data world, that was so much fun as well. I'm glad we got to see that again. 
This version of Violet is again the amalgamation of Bam's loneliness. He doesn't want to return to that lonely place of being in that cave, trapped looking up at the ceiling. And this kind of is a personification of that because obviously you've read the story, you know that Bam felt at his loneliest as well when in Fog. He wanted to see his friends. He wanted to climb up there and see them as soon as possible. Next up, we got Bam 25th regular version and I'm putting it in God tier. The first character, one out of five in God tier. And yeah, I mean, Bam's just a great character. I like him as a protagonist. I wish he was a little bit more ruthful, ruthless, but at the same time, uh, I think we're gonna see more development from him moving forward. So at the minute, Bam, you're God tier. Keep it up. Casino, I'm putting in C tier. I'll put you above him though. Uh, don't remember this character, so we'll put him in trash. Uh, I don't want to put you in trash, so I'm putting you... I'm putting you there. I like you more than A.K. Williams, and I don't think you're better than Casino though. I'm sorry. Uh, this character, now I'm putting you... In D tier, because we're meant to hate you, if I remember correctly. He is the character that was... No, he's not the character I'm thinking of. Trash. Boro. Sorry, Boro, but I'm going to put you in trash. Listen, I started off okay with Boro. Like, I kind of liked his design and what he brought to the table. But after some time, he just got repetitive and boring. And his comedy wasn't even funny. So, he's in trash. Uh... This guy, we're gonna put you in C tier. Hopefully you're not dead. Uh, minions from the hell floor, floor of death, that one. Uh, Dan, I'm putting Dan in C tier. I quite like him. Uh, Data Jihad is for me a B tier character. He's our first insight into Jihad as a character. And you know what, I quite liked it, but I kept getting vibes of Sinbad from the Marky series. A character that loathed through adventure. He got a thrill from adventure, but lost his way. And instead became a ruler and a dictator. And I, I couldn't get those similarities out of my head while reading it. Plus his first appearance with the eye patches and the cape. It was ridiculous. But towards the end, he earned my respect. So I'm putting him in B tier. Next up, we've got uh, Hogany, A tier. Dovik uh, can sit very nicely in D. Elliot, uh, I don't think he's a character I'm thinking of at the moment, but he can go in D. Uh, this guy... There. I like his design more than um, the, the Priest of the Altar. And Dorsey Jihad is a god-tier character. I'm not going to hear many people complain about that. And yeah. Just gonna put her up there. Uh, Eden Kuhn is a A tier character. Enru is a A tier character. He didn't do much, but he offered a lot to the story, and I hope we get to meet him in present time. Uh, this character, I want to see her more, so I'm putting her in C. And Farnkel is an A tier character. Evan. B tier. A guy from the floor of death. Frog lady. Ooh, now where do I put her to? For now, I'm gonna put um, I'm gonna put this character in A tier. For now, I might might put her up to God tier. I don't know yet. I did not like this ghost thing on the floor of death. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm putting you in C tier because you managed to attack Rachel successfully and harm her. Of course, the fan base had a great pop when that happened, like they went crazy. So, we'll put you there. Yuha is going in A tier. I love that character, she's great. Let's see more of her. Uh, this character, B tier. Daniel Hatchet, uh, B tier. Hats, um, B. Hell Joe. Now, I'm putting Hell Joe at the top of C for now. To be honest, I expected more and I wasn't too thrilled with him as an antagonist. 
Like, there are better antagonists within Season 2. So, I think C tier is okay at the moment. Might change him later. Rest in peace, Arcraptor. You get to go into B tier. You go in trash. Why? Because you have one job. Protect Iwa. What have you done? Not do that. Now, of course, I'm breaking the fourth wall there because it happened in Season 3, technically. But come on, let's be honest. This guy's just trash. Running after Yuha is understandable, like she's a great character, but at the same time, no one to give up, boy. 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 Learn when to give up. Uh, Hiyo Yang. Unfortunately, Hiyo Yang is a tier tier character, um, because he got killed off, pretty much, or comatose. That hinder him a bit. Another god tier character, Hariun. She is amazing. One of the, my favourite characters in Tower of God in general. So I'm putting her in God tier. So we had three spaces clear uh, up in God tier. Only two remain. After all, we're only putting five characters in God tier from this list. Jin Sung Ha is going in A tier. Now, the reason to why I'm putting him so high in E is simply because I love the emotional aspect of his character. The fact that he has so much faith in Bam at the last station and how much he put on the line, risking his own life so that Carbon would not get there and kill Bam. This I absolutely loved. He's like a massive father figure to Bam and I just love the connection they have together. I don't remember this character, so I'm going to put you in trash. Cullivan, I'm putting you in B, but you're there in B. Arguably, Cullivan's main development phase comes in Season 3, but what we see from him in Season 2 is still pretty good, nevertheless. Like, it's good from a shock value and a power standpoint, but not so much as a characterization and building standpoint. So, I quite like, quite like B placement here. Karaka is going in A tier. Kuhn is going in God tier. Do I have to say more? Like, Aguero ages Kuhn? Like, come on. He's great. Even though he was pretty much out of it for the last station, he still did so many great things, like, uh, like sort of, you know, put Rachel down, like, uh, mocking her and sort of being a great strategist throughout, making up good plans, and basically progressing the plot. Now, Cassia. Cassia is a B tier. I want to see her again. I want to see, like, her meet Kuhn in present day. Marco Asensio. Uh, B. Young Jenny Mushini. Mich young Mushini Jihad Data. Kuhn Ran B This guy uh, I'm putting you in C About there Now we're meant to hate this character We're meant to despise him And you know what, for the most part I really did So for that You're getting a good, uh, good D Lady Death uh, D. We don't really get to see much of her. Soyon. I don't even know that's her name. Uh, C tier. There. Like, she's pretty useful. She was helpful. Uh, D. And a little bit higher up, but still D. I'm putting you there simply because, I mean, I respect the fact that he didn't want to help at first. But once he saw Harian, he wanted to help. And I respect that. Leiro. Um, I think B. Levy. B. I quite like Levy. I'm interested to see how, what role he plays moving forward. Like curses and uh, if he ever is going to return. I want to see him return. Next up, we have... Uh, another B tier character that I actually really enjoyed, and that was one of um, Caesar's kind of uh, 
admins slash assistants who had like a weird fox I am a, I think is what they called it. Now, this is a tough choice. There's two potential characters I want to put in God Deer here. One of them is Caesar, aka Aline. Do I put it at the top of A, or do I put her in God Deer? Now, I love this character's design. I love her attitude that she has in the series. Mostly in season three. So for that, I'm putting her in A. But I'm actually putting her third place in A. Simply because my enjoyment from Caesar increases in season three. But since we're focusing only on season two, that's why I'm putting her here. A Princess of Jihad, we're going to go uh, B tier with. Again, intriguing, mysterious, I want to see more. This character, again, I want to see more. She's interesting. I'm going to put her a bit higher up, just below Arc Raptor. Love. C. I don't remember who you are. So trash. Mad Dog. Um, Mad Dog. Mad Dog was cooler than Hell Joe. Just is. Michael. Trash. The fact that I kept calling him uh, Maple for most of my reviews uh, just indicates how much or how little I paid attention to this character. Plus, I don't like his personality or his design. He's just scummy. Uh, you. You get some respect. So I think you go there. Nia. Uh, Nia. Nia, Nia. C tier. This character offers Wang Nam some serious mental development and growth. And that's what I like about the character. He's dead, but he still lives on tormenting Wang Nam. Forcing Wang Nam to grow and mature. So, there. Trash, 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 trash. Um, little pink girl that sleeps a lot. That's <laughs> pretty much all I remember her. Uh, C tier. But... That high. Now, based on season 2 performance, this character is a C tier character. But is... Oh. Okay, now, I can already tell there's comments in the comment section about this, and I do apologise, but I will be adding it on at the end, so I'll use the power of editing to edit this character in. I have forgotten Beta. How have I forgotten Beta? Oh well, he will be arriving, just bear with me. Gustang is an A tier character. Prince is a top of C tier. Now, I was going to put him near towards the bottom, but I kind of decided not to. The reason being is Prince gained some respect by allowing himself to be eaten by Hoquin instead of uh, Miss Sang being absorbed. So, rest in peace. Next up, we've got the uh, Purple Brothers. I really don't care about them. Quadro, Blitz, uh, C, Quinn, uh, C, uh, almost a D, but we'll leave him there. Rachel is a A tier character. She just is. Like, Rachel is a really well written character. We're meant to hate her. We hate the life out of Rachel. Rachel is meant to be scummy, and slimy, and horrible, despicable, degenerate, and she's all of them, written perfectly. And that's what I like about Rachel's character. I like the fact she's able to draw so much heat and negativity from the fan base just by appearing in a panel and not even saying anything. So, you know what, Rachel, you're A tier. Not putting you in God tier, Christ no. Rack. Uh, I'm sorry, this is going to be a very unpopular opinion, but Rack for me is a B tier character. Uh, Mr. Devil first, don't care. Refugio is C tier. I actually like Refugio better than Helljo as a villain. I like Refugio better than Mad Dog as a villain. Um, so yeah. I don't remember this guy. I think he's part of Yuha's crew. Next up, we've got 
Rowan. She is B tier. I just like her design. Mad Dog's assistant. You are a C tier character. Like, I really don't care about you. Uh, so put you there. I don't remember who you are. Uh, you're just fodder. Sashi Faker. Um... C tier. Shibisu. B tier. You're just fodder for the floor of death. Um, I put these two characters in because I quite like the fact they give us a bit of lore. Uh, so I'm putting you there. Traveller. Now I'm still intrigued by Traveller, so I'm putting him in C tier. Ulrich Mezno is a. B tier character. Is this character is it a name Ivory? I've got it written there, but I can't quite read it. Uh, Melody, Verity, Verity. Uh, B tier. This character. I'm sorry, but I just don't like her. She's trash. Wang Nam, A tier. I really like Wang Nam, and she has some great moments, and he does develop and progress a lot throughout season two. Anna. B tier. You, my friend, are an A tier character. I think I'm going to do that though. Yeah. A tier, I just love her design. I hate the fact that she got absorbed by Hoquin and Hoquin is kind of like complete, although he's still slowly building up his power to become white again. I really wanted to stick around, but I guess that's not to be. Uh, unfortunately, you go into D because you were cool, but we just didn't see anything from you. Like, I wanted to see more. Uh, Hoquin. Now, a lot of people are going to want me to put him in God tier. To me... Actually, let's do this. You there. Angel there. Sorry, Angel. Uh, Hulk need there. That's it. A tier character. Uh, I actually, actually, I actually prefer Viscante. No, actually, no, I don't. <laughs> that, that's a lie. But Viscante, you are a B tier character. Uh, I can't pronounce your name, but I love your design. So we're putting you in B tier. Uh, glasses. I'm really sorry, but again, like a your yang, you can go together. You just kind of peered out. Miss Sang is a B tier character that I like more than Arcraptor. Oh ho ho. This pains me a lot. Iwa is an A tier character. Now if you watch my reviews you know how much I love this character. I absolutely adore this character, but unfortunately she just doesn't make god tier. I can't, I just can't. There is one more character in this list that needs to go in god tier and I can't put her in it unfortunately. Sorry Iwa, forgive me. Okay, so moving along, only three more characters left. Well, technically four, but of course, Beta will be added on uh, afterwards. We've got Hung Sung Yu. Now, for me, he is an A tier character. Uh, actually, B, I think, is better suited. I'm moving Shibisu up to uh, there. That's what I'm going to put Shibisu to. Um, Hung Sung Yu, data version B. Quite liked it. Next up, we've got the last character in God tier, Yuri Jihad. Do I need to say more? She's funny, she's energetic, she's powerful, she's a badass. But she's so entertaining and enjoyable to watch slash read. I love Yuri, she gets to go in God tier. And finally, we've got Yuto. Uh, D, why not Yuto? But yeah, so there is the list. That is my rankings for the Tower of God. Webtoon Season 2 Characters. 
Of course, there are a few characters I missed out, like the probably some jabronis who, um, uh, you know, I don't know, some like New Har members team, or somebody from uh, some data world. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, I, I forgot some data person. Baltis, Baltis. I forgot that guy. I forgot Rax uh, is a uh, sworn enemy. I forgot the pink girl who always sleeps was sworn enemy. I forgot a few characters like the um, what are they called? Like the guardians, the administration people, the creators from the data world. I forgot all of them. Wow, there are so many characters that I just could not remember them all. So I do apologize about that. If I were to put like those type of characters in though, they're most likely going to be in C tier or D tier. So there's nothing too um, like groundbreaking that I've missed out, if I'm perfectly honest. But if you actually do remember a character that I have missed out, that you're like, what? How could you forget that? Like, of course, Beta, who you now see is placed in A tier. Then, of course, let me know in the comments down below and I'll tell you my thoughts and opinions on them. Sorry if I missed your favourite. But like I said, there's over a hundred characters in this list already. Trying to put more in? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I forgot. Anyways though, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, hit that like button, comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe for more Tower of God webtoon content. Hopefully, we're going to be catching up with the chapters a bit more quicker next time. But of course, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, have a great day. Alligator, Matt it. Goodbye.